and welcome back to my channel, Let's Get Glam. I haven't been on in a few days, we've had a few very busy days. We went to the beach, we've been hanging out with family who's come up to visit. But today I have a couple things I wanted to touch on. The first thing is the Kylie Jenner Peach Extended Palette. I left the box in the other room, but it is fairly new. I got it as a birthday present from one of my posh friends. And I have a couple opinions about it. And I also did like a miniature Dollar Tree haul because I had to go in there for a couple cards and paper plates and random things. So I decided to pick some things up and talk to you guys about them today. So the first thing that I actually found I was very curious about because I'm like on this like setting spray fiend. And I saw this Blueberry Bliss spray. Now it's not a setting spray. It's just like a facial mist, which I've never even seen or done anything with in my life it says your new secret weapon for soft and smooth skin it's free of parabens and dye it's five fluid ounces 150 milliliters and by the brand bolero beverly hills there's all that for the directions though it says spray all over your face and that's it and all the ingredients seem to be fairly okay there is alcohol denat i don't know what denat is but Alcohol in something isn't that good, so I want to open it up and smell it and see what it does. It actually smells really good and not like alcohol. It smells kind of like a bunch of fruit though, not just a blueberry. Let's try and spray it. It still smells like blueberry. I guess you just spray that over your face. It's a little drippy. It doesn't say like what it does though. This says keep it away from children, don't get it in your eyes, and it's not tested on animals. So I don't know, but it smells good, so I gave it a try. I guess if anyone has a use for it, let me know. Maybe I can include one in my next giveaway. I got two. One for me to try and one for me to give away. So the next thing that I saw is actually this Hydra Mist Coconut Water Facial Serum. Not sure if this is going to do something weird to my face since it was at Dollar Tree. I hope that it doesn't make me break out. It says hydrates and replenishes for a brighter you. It's a coconut water facial serum. Again, it's by that Bolero brand. Doesn't have anything in it alcohol-wise. Mineral oil, coconut water, paraffinium liquidium. It says the directions for use are after cleaning and toning, apply tiny dots all over your face, blend lightly, use short light strokes to your face. Serum should be applied twice daily. There we go, I finally got the sticker off after I rubbed that all off to you. Looks kind of cute with the water droplets on the bottom of the packaging. I don't know why these things just were like, hello, get me. It's in like a standard serum bottle. Save the box. Okay, the stickies are like really stuck on there. They're like kind of gross. I'm just gonna leave them alone for now. Let's open it up. It appears, yep, it is a droplet thing. Let's see. It smells just like coconut water would when you buy it at the food store. I'm sure that's all it is in here is the coconut water. Let's take out way less than that. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my hand here. You could kind of see the bubbles. There's that, I'll rub it in. It's kind of gooey. My serums that I use for vitamin C and stuff aren't that gooey. Maybe if I put it on my face after, it'll feel replenishing. That's not something I can judge. Kind of gives off a shiny look now on my hand. That's kind of cool, I guess. So yeah, there's that Bolero Face Serum, Hydra Mist. If anyone's interested in that, I also got two of these. Can also feature one of these in a giveaway. It does smell good. There's no like bad ingredients in it. If you wanted to try just a hydrating facial serum, maybe that's the one to go. Next I saw this. It is a age defy dark circle and puffiness serum. It says that it's made with peptides, vitamins, and green tea extract by Skin Nutrition's New York. And it says, gently roll under the eye from the inner corner to the outer corner. Use fingertip to blend in any excess. Apply twice a day. They want me to apply everything from the dollar store two times, I guess. Oh, look at this. It's kind of like a cool ready orange package. It's more orange in person than it looks on my camera. Let's see. Distributed by Skin Beauty International Incorporated. Okay, let's see. 
has a twisty cap. It's like a roller ball. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. And it takes a minute to get wet. It has like a subtle nice smell to it and it's kind of just ooey gooey. I guess I'll have to try this for a couple of days and see if it does anything that under my eyes or just feels good. I don't really have any puffiness or aging. I'm not that old, but well, there was that. I gave it a try. Then I got these Hydra Mist Coconut Hand Water Creams, also by the Bolero. It's kind of like a set deal. They all look so pretty with their watery things on them. I had to give them a try. All right, let's open this little boy up. Oh, it's in a cute package. Oh, again with the stickies, it's like stuck. Close. Okay, let's see. Here is the cute little lotion. It says hand cream, apply evenly and massage into skin until absorbed. It's a cute little package there. Let's open it up. There is a safety tab on there. That's always a good sign. Sometimes at Dollar Tree you don't have one and then you're just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna throw this in the trash. Yeah, that ends up being a waste of a dollar, but who cares, it's just a dollar. Okay, I literally cannot open this. I don't have anything sharp. Oh, I got it. Here it is. Let's snip it. Mm, it smells just like the coconut water other stuff. I guess I'll apply it right here. It's kind of not as white as a normal moisturizer. It's got like a weird transparent look in person and it's kind of going down so you can see. Might be because it's kind of like coconut oil. Oh yes, it's definitely very, very gooey. I'm not gonna be able to pick anything up. Awesome. Though it does smell really nice. I'm gonna wipe some of it off here. I have a paper towel so that I can kind of wipe my hands down and clean them off so I can show you guys swatches of the Kylie palette. It definitely smells nice. It's like kind of like a good one to keep in your purse. Well, there goes the cap as well. But Hydra Mist Coconut Water Hand Cream again. And it says it hydrates and replenishes for a better you, which is like all the other ones from them. And the last thing that I got was actually a lipstick hydrating one it says vitamin e and aloe vera for creamy wear looks like a standard nude lippy and i just wanted to try it to see if it actually works so after i talk about the peach extended palette i'll give this a try it is in a cute little holder though it does feel very flimsy it feels like the cap could just fall right off it looks way more brown than i anticipated too i don't know if you can tell I'll do a swatch on my thumb. Gotta really like scribble it on. It is pretty nude looking. Here's the, the swatch to the lippy. All right, now let's get to business. So I got this Kylie Jenner Peach Extended Palette for my birthday. It's kind of a mess now because I have used it the last few days because I wanted to give like my super honest review. I have the Burgundy Extended Palette and I like love it. I literally am in love with it this one however i'm 50 50. i do like it for like my natural looks that i've been doing the last couple of days but i'll show you what i'm talking about with my review so you can see the colors that i've gone into but there are all the shades from this kylie jenner peach extended palette the shade names are pretty as a peach southern bell sorbet 2 ripe kim k cream juicy keen Peach Please, Georgia, Love Your Peaches, Feeling Fuzzy. So they're all kind of like Georgia peachy kind of names. It's in this cute white packaging. You can see that. And there are the shade names on the back of the palette. All right, now let's go ahead and get in here. I'm going to show you guys. There you can see all the shades, nice and good. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you. So I'm not sure what order. Here we go. Love Your Peaches is the first shade. It's definitely a shimmer and it applies on super lightly. Like you can barely see it, but it's like a golden color. Like you could almost use that as a highlighter if you were a good like fan of the gold. So it's again, not that bright, which I don't know. Most of her palettes to me are like super pigmented. Then the one underneath that is called Feeling Fuzzy. 
it again is one of her shimmer shades it's like more of a copper tone so i'm just gonna swatch that there for you that one is way more pigmented however none of these shades are really good for an inner corner look it's like super crazy none of them are like whoa sparkly bright which is where i tend to put like a super glittery hey look at me shade or like a pop in pink color if i'm doing a colorful look the peach please color here is super light and i've been using it as like a base over my lid for my looks the last couple of days because it doesn't really apply on that dark i tried to like scribble it on there so you could see it it is just super light so if you were going to have like a orangey tone like it actually looks in the pan you're not going to get that on your eyes it's like my skin tone it almost matches look almost not quite all right so this one underneath that is a dark brownish tone it is actually called georgia I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that it's kind of like a burnt orangish kind of brown that'd be this one right here so I've been using that one kind of on my outer lid there. It spurted out good. It's an okay shade. Next I'm gonna do Juicy and then I'm gonna do Keen. So Juicy is this super orange that I have not yet put on. That one actually has a lot of pigment. So you can see that orange there. And the Keen shade is another shimmer. Now I've tried this one on my inner corner and it just doesn't work. But there it is. You can barely see it on my arm. So I like go like this. There it is. Keen. Next two shades are both shimmers. They're actually called Kim K and Cream. So let's go into Kim K. Shout out to Kim Kardashian. There it is. It's like another orangey brown with some shimmer. There it is on the arm. Now let's get Sheen. Wipe the finger off. Gross. The sheen one is like super light and shimmery. I've kind of just been just applying that one to get some like last second shimmer. It is like a really pretty color, but it's just not super pigmented in my opinion. And for me, I've been looking for like super pigmented, look at my eyes, hey, showstopper looks, I guess. So next we're going to go into Sorbet 2 and Ripe. Sorry, I keep having to look, but the names are easier when they're on the front of the palette. Here's Sorbet 2. It is a golden color. Go ahead and swatch it at the bottom. That one is like a dark shimmery brown. It's actually very pretty and that one actually is kind of pigmented. Now here is the right. Couldn't remember the name. There's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that up here. So Ripe is like a burnt orange. I haven't used that one yet either. And you can tell that that one's pretty pigmented. If you look at the variation, only a few of the shades even applied dark. And some of them I had to, like this one, super scribble on my arm just to show you. Now the last two are Pretty as a Peach and Southern Belt. Pretty as a Peach is this bright peach color. That one is, whoa, super pigmented. Gonna have to try that tomorrow. And there's the Southern Belle, which is her brown, and it is looking pigmented on my finger. And it probably would need like two coats on the eye, but there it is, pretty pigmented. So there's all my swatches going all the way up and down my arm. And now I want to show you the fallout that's created just by my finger wiping across. It's like super dirty in there. I don't know if you can see it good. There's dots all over the place. This one right here looks like I like took a chunk out of it. But that's not like a typical Kylie palette to me. I just, I was kind of disappointed. I do like some of the colors. I have been using it to get my honest opinion going on. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on. I have to go grab my makeup brushes, so I'll be back in one minute. But I just am not overly impressed with how these shades are looking just on my skin and in the pan. Just a second. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back. And I just went to the other side of my house to grab my brushes and I actually tried to put a makeup look on my face with this. As you can see, there's like nothing going on with this palette because it's not very pigmented at all. I use this one over here to do my base shade. Then I use this one. And I also used the very bright orange. 
to try and get it on there. I did like several coats and as you can see, it's just not even applying to over my lid. These aren't the colors I've been using on the daily, but this is just crazy to me. So I brought up one of my brushes. I wanted to just show you guys me attempting to do an inner corner with this palette. I'm going to go ahead and use this dark, dark, coppery, feeling fuzzy shade. Just so you can see my point. My brush is super colored. I just go in here and I just like pack it on. You can kind of see it in there. Then you see this? It's like barely shimmering, barely in there. And that was a lot of makeup on my brush. And that's not what I'm going for when you pay like $42 for a palette. This one was a gift, but I have almost all of Kylie's palettes she's come out with. And this one is just not doing me a good job on my makeup. Like, I don't even know how else to say it. The fallout is real. The only good part is, is that the packaging has a mirror. You cannot bend it backwards, so that doesn't really help you if you're trying to hold the palette and do your makeup. I mean, you have to do it like this, but it just isn't very pigmented. Like, look at this. I guess let's try out the dollar store of Lippy and see how we're feeling about that. Use that brown color again. Swatches right there, so let's see how it applies on. like actually like looks like a pretty nude and it actually feels like a chapstick so that's pretty solid and for a dollar got the chapstick that kind of tints your lips so i guess the kylie peach extended palette on a scale of one to ten for me gets like a five because i told you i've created a handful of like just natural nice looks this week but I'm not sure if this is the one I'm going to be reaching for. I would definitely prefer her Burgundy Extended Palette. And this one is just kind of a flush for me. But whatever, I guess they can't all have good palettes, right? And Kylie is one of my favorite makeup artists. However, this one's just not doing it for me. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching my video. Remember, if you aren't already a subscriber, to please subscribe. Once I get up to 100 subscribers, I'm going to... Okay, my video just tapped out, so as I was saying, at my 100th subscriber, I am going to be doing another giveaway, and then 50 subscribers, every time I reach 50 more subscribers, rather, I am going to be doing a giveaway. I'm just going to be pulling names out of my bowl, which I actually have right here. The last girl to win was Lisa Mama Lip, and if you guys have a Poshmark, I can leave my link in the bottom. And she actually got her prize on there and absolutely loved it, said it made her day. I filled an entire priority mailbox. It was like this big, no joke. She can testify to that. So like I said, if you guys can please subscribe if you're not already so that we can get along with our next giveaway and getting me some more followers. Um, just to recap once again. This palette is like a 5 out of 10 for the fallout, for the super not pigmentation of the palette. It's not going to be one that I reach for all the time. Maybe once in a while to create a natural look if I'm just running out fast or something. Or who knows, maybe I'll end up giving it to somebody else. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Remember to like. Comment if there's anything you guys would personally like to see. And I hope that you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. For me, it is nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and post this to you guys and then just hang out and watch one of my favorite shows, Out Doctored. So again, I hope you guys are having a great night. Thank you guys for watching my video.